What's up YouTube? Uh, I'm TJ. Um, I just kind of want to introduce myself a little bit and kind of what I'm doing here. Um, but So what I'm doing is I kind of want to use YouTube as like an accountability type thing. Because um, I've always wanted to make videos and post them. Kind of just really about anything. But I've also wanted to hit a certain goal in running for a while. Because uh, I used to run a lot when I was younger, but then I stopped once I got into college. And I kind of just want to get back into it, be a little bit more in shape. And so what I want to do is I want to run every single day or six days a week. And I want to film it every single time and then post it. So then I'm using posting YouTube as an accountability to actually get out of bed and go on a run. Um, but then also using the running as an accountability to... Um, actually film videos and post them and so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of walk you through what I do in a day through my running on my training I'll talk about every day how far I'm going what I'm doing for like stretching to warm up for it um, and then in a couple weeks when I start doing um, workouts I'll start kind of documenting that and what I'm doing the paces that I'm doing and then just kind of go from there and then I'll talk about what like I'm drinking and what I'm trying to eat healthy to reach my goal and then also what I'm doing on the recovery side like massaging and like rolling out and like abs and stuff like that that's going to help me um, get to where I want to go so I don't get injured. Um, and so the goal that I do want to hit is I want to run sub 15 and 5k. Um, when I was in high school, I was, I dipped into like the middle of like the 15s um, and that was in like my prime and it was very hard. I only did it one time and so it's definitely going to be a stretch. So um, I plan on doing this um, either until I hit the goal or until I die pretty much. Um, I want to, I want to hit this goal really bad um, and so you guys are going to kind of come along with me. Um, so I don't care if it takes me 700 runs or like 2,000. Um, and then if I like doing this and I feel like I could hit another goal, um, that's what I want to do. Um, but between now and hitting the goal, I'll be doing a few like um, paste type things. I don't really know what to call them, like mock races to see where if I can get because I definitely can't run sub-17 right now, so I need to do that first, and then I need to do sub-16 again, um, and then do sub-15. So it's definitely gonna take a while, and I'm definitely here for it. Um, the videos won't be that crazy, like I'll really just be um, slapping together <laughs> random videos of me running. Um, and then I do wanna talk about every single day kinda how I feel. Um, prior to the run and how I feel after it physically but then I also want to talk about how I feel mentally uh, before and after because uh, running can really change how you're feeling during the day um, so yeah that's kind of what I want to do good morning YouTube it is currently 9 30 in the morning it's 20 degrees outside it feels really nice it's very sunny today um but i am about to go on my run so i'm stretching right now um i don't know how to really show you but i'm just stretching my calves out and my quads out a little bit just to kind of get them warm um, and i'll stretch out a little bit more after um i'm gonna go on four miles today um I'll probably stay around like 7.30, 7.45 pace. Very easy. Um, this, the route that I'm taking has a few hills kind of going up and down in it, so I don't like to go too crazy on it. Um, but I'll see you there. Okay, we are two miles in, so halfway done with it. 
So I'm just taking a little breather break and a little stretch break. Um, I like to do that two miles, no matter the distance I'm going, just because that's when I feel like my legs are starting to warm up and kind of get into everything. Uh, it's really cold. I don't know if you can see my breath, but I'm very cold right now. And those uphills are really intense. I just came down a really long gradual downhill, so going back I have to go up that one, but then I get to go down the first uphill. Um, but so what I like to do for stretching, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I just like to go on the edge of the curb and just kind of stretch my calves a little bit. I'll probably do this for like 10 or 15 seconds on each side. And then what I like to do is I like to go like this and stretch everything down in here. Do that for about 10 or 15 seconds, just depending on how tight I actually feel. Um, and then what I like to do, I get really tight on the insides too. And so I like to kind of turn it and kind of deep down into it and I'll get this inner part. And I'll do that for about 10 or 15 seconds as well. Maybe a little less, I'm not feeling too tight right now. And then I'll kind of like loosen up and then I'll repeat the process on the other leg. And then I also like to stretch my back a lot too because I do have some back pains. So I always try and get it to pop. Um, and to kind of stretch out the lower part where it hurts a lot. So I just kind of do whatever I can get to stretch that. Okay, so I just finished my run. Um, I did the four miles um, and I did some stretching after. Um, I'll put my splits on screen from my Strava um, and if you wanna follow that, that'll be in the link down below. Um, but I did do a little bit faster than I wanted. I was averaging close to 710s, 720s. Um, so I'm gonna go a little bit slower tomorrow in the next couple days just because I am in more of a building rather than wanting to go fast because I'm very inconsistent with running right now. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I don't like eating actual food after running. It never really feels good to me. So I usually do like a protein shake. So I'll show you kind of what I drink and kind of how I make it. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'll go through all my recovery stuff, kind of how I felt um, and everything like that and how I felt throughout the day after doing this run. Okay, so every day after I run, I like to drink some essential breakfast uh, just because of what's in it. It makes me feel a lot better than eating like a protein bar or like any cereal or anything like that. Okay, so one thing that I do want to keep track of as well is when I was younger, I used to drink one to two gallons of water a day. So I want to get at least one in every day. So I've got my half gallon jug right here. So I should fill that up at least one more time. And then every day I have my prime energies that I drink. I drink two a day. Um, I like the electrolytes that they put in. They make me feel a lot more hydrated throughout the day. So I'll always be having one of those. So if I get minimum a gallon, I should have to drink this at least this full time, the two primes, and then half of this again. But if I want more, I should just do two full of those. What's up, YouTube? So it's the end of the night now. I just got home from work, so I kind of want to walk you through um, how I felt throughout the day, um, physically and mentally, because I haven't been running very consistently, so feeling tired, uh, I was kind of prepared for that. Um, but I didn't actually feel that bad today. Um, I even worked longer than I thought I was going to, but like the only thing that really I can tell is like my legs are just a little bit sore and my back and my shoulders are a little bit sore. So what I'm gonna do today to kind of help that so I don't feel like that in the morning is I'm gonna take my Theragun uh, just for like five or 10 minutes on each like section 
um, on my back, my quads, my shins, and then as well as my neck, and then maybe a little bit on the glutes, just kind of on a low setting, just kind of loosen them up and get them kind of feeling a little bit better, so that way tomorrow I don't wake up super sore. Um, and then one thing that I do want to uh, mention, something that I always forget to do, um, is I get really tight on the outside of my shins. I just always forget to stretch that area, um, and I forget to massage that area or, or to ice it. And so I'm going to tell you guys now, so that way I can watch back if I'm feeling kind of weird, then I know that it's because I'm not stretching out that area. And so I'll do some Theragun on the edge too. That's really where I feel most of my tightness. Um, and then depending on how my back feels after I do the Theragun, I might use my Electra Stim um, and kind of do like a low setting for like another 10 or 15 minutes just on the back itself. Um, and then the next thing that I want to talk about is how I felt mentally. Um, I actually felt really good today. Um, and it was nice because I woke up this morning uh, to a friend calling me, telling me that he went on a run this morning. I've been trying to get this guy to go on a run for the last year, and I'm mad that I didn't get to go with him on it. Um, and so I woke up to that, and I was super pumped to actually go out and go on my own run. Um, and so that helped me get out there. And throughout the day, I just felt really happy that I actually went out on my run. And the fact that I'm starting this YouTube channel and actually documenting it, because I've been thinking about doing this for a while. And I've been wanting to get back into running for the last like year and a half. And so I'm glad that I can actually start to get into it. Um, so I felt really good today and I'm hoping that that's gonna carry on through this uh, challenge. And then, I am going to put my mileage chart, uh, my train plan on screen right here. Um, on, so what's going to happen, I think, and I can add weeks into this or subtract weeks depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but the next three to four weeks, I'm not going to be doing any workouts. I'm just going to be doing consistent mileage six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Um, so that way I can get a feel of what I'm actually doing before I jump into something really crazy. Um, and I'll probably start doing like abs on the side after runs every single day, probably in the three or four weeks as well. I just want to get the base of like working out under my belt before I do anything crazy. And then my workouts are really just going to be tempo runs and fart leg runs um throwing some hills into both of them so that way i'm still getting like an incline and a decline um but i'm getting in faster paces so that way i can start to feel everything um and then hopefully in like two months or something i'll be able to be in a better shape and i can try and go sub 17 in the 5k or 1630 or whatever um, and then for the next four weeks, my paces are going to be pretty similar, um, probably between 7.30 and 8 flat, nothing crazy. And then probably on the fourth week, um, I'll just dip down towards lower to like 7.15, 7.20 area. So that way, um, the next week when I start workouts, my body isn't freaking out when I'm going like under seven minute um so it's kind of used to using the legs a little bit more getting a, a smaller stride and everything um so i'll try and do that um the last thing that i want to go over um is i'll have my shrabba link down below if you guys actually have that i really don't know how many people are actually going to be watching this but if you do have shrabba and you aren't my friend and you don't already follow me you can click that and you should be able to see what I'm doing uh, follow me on there and you'll be able to get a little bit more drop down of what I'm actually doing um, but if you guys are watching this and you enjoy it let me know if you're my friends you can just text me really or leave a comment below I guess that's what youtubers say um, but if you're not my friend and I don't know you, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. And as I go about this goal, this goal I hope you guys can see me progress um, physically, but also mentally and be in a better headspace. Um, I'm very excited to do this. Um, and hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it doesn't take me the next 10 years. Um, but I'm really excited to do this. And I hope you guys have a great night.